So in this video, I want to talk about a delusion that I've seen a lot of people have in this industry. And that is that they don't believe that they need to put any effort into getting the results that they want. Somehow life is just going to magically sort itself out for them. And they're going to have some like happy ever after uh, because everything is going to fall into place. Now, this is some fairy tale delusion that unfortunately has been sold by a lot of media and I'm here to unfortunately burst that bubble and say that no one is going to come and save you and it needs to be you to save yourself if you want to achieve any kind of results in your life. So I'd love to take the opportunity in this video to discuss a lot of the problems that I have seen people um, face in this industry as well as some of the solutions to help overcome um, these issues as well. So if you are someone who perhaps maybe resonates with any of the problems that I do say or talk about then I really do hope that you take my uh, advice and hopefully it does at least point you in the right direction. Not necessarily get you the change that I, that you would want but certainly at least guide you on that path that hopefully gets you your results sooner than later. Um, and of course, if you do enjoy everything that I talk about in this video, um, by all means, please like and subscribe to my channel where um, I will be sharing all things to help with your anxiety, your confidence, um, and even making positive lifestyle changes for yourself uh, as well. So, with all of that said, let's get straight into the content for this video. So one of the first problems that I certainly see with people is that people just want to try and do the change work on their own and forever, for whatever reason, they just don't want to seek any kind of like help or guidance. Now, whether it's a case of maybe they're being like really too proud or perhaps maybe they feel it's uh, a failure uh, in their part to go and seek help from someone else, um, you know, is entirely up for debate. But I have seen people who they spend so much time trying to get the results on their own that, you know, they lose way too much time in trying to achieve those results uh, or so much time goes by and they can also become very demotivated um, by uh, by all of that happening. And it can be a little bit heartbreaking really to see, you know, when you are seeing people who certainly want to get results, let's say for people who I, I've known who want to go to the gym, you know, they have uh, for whatever reason decided not to go to a personal trainer and then they've spent like months and months and months you know, working like crazy on the equipment without genuinely asking for feedback or advice from someone telling them like, are they doing the reps right? Are they lifting the right kind of weights? You know, are they doing the correct kind of rotation on the equipment? And unfortunately, yeah, people can become quite deflated when they're not getting the results that they are, are hoping for. Um, and especially in this kind of like era where, you know, social media is just everywhere now, um, and people practically live and breathe their lives through it. And imagine if you're watching a video of someone who is achieving in like five, six months, this incredible body, this chiseled physique. And in that sort of space of time, you've like barely lost like a pound or something, you know, or uh, a couple of kilograms or whatever. And you can then start feeling like that, like, oh, I'm, I'm not going to get the results that I want. And when those sort of thoughts slowly start creeping in, it's very easy then to start falling back into that negative routine because you are giving yourself literally that negative reinforcement through your emotions and you're just going to end up psyching yourself out of getting any results possible. Um, it's the same with the dating industry as well. Um, I have certainly known people who have put themselves out there, uh, whether they've gone to like speed dating or they've gone to social events to try and meet people um, and uh, get themselves dates or find relationships or partners. And they have genuinely struggled because 
it's turned out that, you know, they don't know how to flirt or they just don't know how to present really confident body language to another person. And so people just aren't interested in them. And again, it can be very heartbreaking when you're putting yourself out there in certainly very vulnerable circumstances and you're just not getting the results that you want. So what is the caveat to all of this? Well, I mean, the obvious one would be to seek a coach or a professional who can get you to where you want to go uh, in a much faster space of time. Now, if you are someone who doesn't want to do that right away, then what I would certainly get you to consider is to give yourself a deadline, whether it be a couple of months, half a year, a year, whatever, be realistic with your expectations and respect the fact that if you can't do it on your own, you're never going to be able to do it on your own. And it is perfectly okay and reasonable to go to professional to help you out. There is nothing wrong with admitting defeat and accepting that perhaps you need your hand held by an expert, a professional, a therapist, a coach to help you to get the results that you want in the fastest time possible. Because that person who went to the gym and tried to do it on their own for a year and got no results, if they'd have then committed to go into a personal trainer maybe a couple of times a week, they could have gotten the results that they wanted to it may be like uh, a quarter of the time that they spent. So it's you know really important to consider that if you are struggling with something, it is absolutely okay to uh, to seek a professional. I will certainly do in other videos um, uh, things to consider if you are shopping around for a coach, you know, and what to kind of look for, especially if either you're on a budget or looking for someone who certainly resonates with the uh, personality perhaps that you've got because all of those factors can certainly make a big difference when you're trying to work towards getting a result in something being around the right kind of people and in particularly coaches can make all the difference besides being around you know a social circle of people who are looking to give you that support uh, and community of uh, getting this best version um, out of you. So moral of this first point is, you know, if you are struggling with something, it is absolutely okay to consider going to a coach. And if you don't want to do it straight away, give yourself a window of time um, to, uh, to see if you can make the changes that you want on your own. If you do it on your own, absolutely fantastic then you are certainly going to be um, a sense of inspiration for people who are also looking to do that change work on their own as well. But if you aren't able to, it's okay to go and seek some extra help. So this next point is a lack of motivation. Um, a lot of people tend to believe that you need to be really motivated first to then start working towards your goals uh, or successes. Now, unfortunately, that isn't how things tend to work. It is very difficult to be motivated. Even for me, there are certainly a lot of things that I want to do and I'm like, oh, I really can't be bothered to, to do that. But the reality is, is that motivation doesn't breed the success. You have to be actively taking action to create that motivation that will then lead to success. And then that perpetuating cycle gets created where once you've got a taste of success, it's then gonna feed into giving you more motivation. So let's say, for example, uh, someone wants to work on their dating life. They're like, oh, you know, I, I really wanna be more confident. Um, I really wanna get myself a girlfriend. Um, but I, I need, I know I need to put myself out there. So already, let's say they've already got this realization that they want to do it, but they're like, oh, you know what, you know what, I'll work on it tomorrow. I'll work on it tomorrow. The next day comes and then they just, they still can't find that motivation. Things get in the way and they're like, oh, I really don't want to go to that event tonight. Oh, I'll go, I'll go to next week's event, you know, and then next week rolls and they're like, oh, I really can't be bothered for that speed dating or social event. I'll go to the next one. Now, 
I'm hoping that one in particular maybe resonates with you where you are someone who does tend to put off things because we all are, you know, there's, I don't think I've ever met someone who doesn't put off wanting to, to do stuff. And if you do, my goodness, you are probably the most motivated person there is in the entire world. Um, but the reality is, is that a lot of people just aren't motivated. So what can we do about this particular circumstance where you're, uh, you're again, you know, you need to do something, but you just can't bring yourself to do it. Well, you just have to do it is, is the reality. Um, again, whether you're either doing it on your own or if you're doing it with someone else, you have to be taking action. And that's the key phrase that I want you to take away with this particular point that if you aren't someone who is motivated to do anything, you have to take action. Now that's easier said than done. So how do you take action? Well, you do that by taking incremental steps, just doing a very small thing at a time and slowly building up to, you know, whatever the result is that you want to work towards. So let's say, for example, again, you want to have a dating life or you want to find a relationship for yourself. Well, let's consider reverse engineering that. What do you need to then be doing? Well, if you need to be going to speed dating events, if you need to go on to dating apps, or certainly if you're someone who really wants to uh, uh, build their confidence, then I'd highly recommend working with a dating coach who will take you out on the street to uh, to meet strangers, you know, and uh, talk to people and realize that, you know, meeting strangers is actually not a scary thing. Um, and uh, you can actually learn to enjoy it. But point being is, is that again, you need to be uh, taking action with that. But we'll carry on just reversing engineering this before I jump the gun here. So you want to find a relationship. So you know, you need to either go speed dating, dating apps, or, you know, working with a dating coach, where they all be taken out on the street. And then maybe even then, if you're not doing, if you're not working with a coach, maybe then you still know that you need to be going out of the house. So perhaps then maybe just the first incremental step would be to just get out of the house, whether it maybe is for like 10 minutes or an hour, just doing something that is out of the norm to what you would be just genuinely getting up to. So let's say you're someone who is always uh, working in the office and then you go straight home. Maybe after work, you need to be putting yourself in a very sociable environment where you can just get comfortable being around people. Don't not even worrying about talking to people, but just being comfortable being around other people. Or maybe you are someone who works from home. Um, then you need to get yourself out the house, go travel into the city and just walk around for a little bit and eventually build that up to maybe starting a conversation with someone or even on the example of again, going to the gym. Maybe if you want to get the body that you want, maybe the first thing you need to be doing is actually looking to get a gym membership somewhere, research what's in the area around you. And then the next step would be just to go and visit the gym. And then the step after that is once you've found the gym you're happy with, book to just go one day a week. And in fact, there is something to be said with when you put yourself in a very different environment, when you're in a place where you are looking to actually learn to achieve those particular results. So, you know, if you want to get the physique that you want, you go to the gym. If you want to find a date, you have to put yourself on the app. You have to go out into the world and meet people or be around people, go to bars, go to clubs. You know, you have to put yourself in the environments that you want. And again, that comes down to taking action. So without the danger of me sounding like I'm just going round and round in circles preaching the same thing. Again, the moral of this is that if you are someone who is struggling with motivation, you have to take action to create that motivation. Even if you're not happy with it, even if you're not in the mood for it, you have to be taking action. However small that action is, just do something that works towards the result that you're looking to get, which could be further on down the line. And again, if you are struggling to do it on your own, it is okay to go to a coach, 
go to a professional, go to a therapist, go to an expert, someone who is going to be able to take you there faster than you believe that you're going to be able to do it on your own. And this last point is that because a lot of people suffer from traumas or past negative experiences in their lives, they tend to be stuck in this particular routine or cycle of just doing the same thing over and over. And it's very difficult to kind of break that habit. Now, I certainly will end up making videos based around, you know, habits and routines and in particularly what you can end up doing to uh, work yourself out of those cycles, I suppose. But what I want you to consider, though, is that because everyone struggles with things in their lives, you know, it is just very difficult to just accept that that is your reality. So let's just say that you've had some bad relationship experiences and because of that, you're scared to um, maybe date again, um, to maybe put yourself in a relationship again. You'd rather be single than go through the trauma of heartbreak or putting yourself in a very vulnerable spot. And in doing so, that can leave people to start feeling a little bit trapped and um, instead just stay in that routine um, that they're in because it feels safe to them. And because of that, they can also get a lot of resentment towards that sensation of just like, oh, I really hate my life, but I, I can't, there's nothing I can do to change it. So what can you do with this one? Well, ultimately with this one again, I mean, it, it is going to be going to a coach or a professional to, to help you with that. Um, this is probably the one where you genuinely can't really do it on your own. Um, it's the way and how it's been described to me and certainly how I've experienced it myself it really is like running into a brick wall or trying to climb a really high wall that has nothing for you to grip onto. It is very, very difficult where you just know that you need the support from other people. Um, but it's not always easy to admit that kind of level of defeat. Uh, you essentially need to kind of accept that you're not in a great place. And that is a very, very difficult thing for anyone to do because you know that admits that you've done something wrong or you've gone off of that correct path that you were meant to to go on but that is absolutely okay and in fact it's should be commendable if you do have that realization that you know what you're not happy with your life it could be better certain experiences that you've had in the past have held you back from living a much more fulfilled life and by going to someone who can help you to overcome those experiences are going to be the things that help you to move on. And even then, they can coincide with those first other points that I made. By removing those negative traumas, you might suddenly find that motivation to go and do the things that you want to do. Or you might decide that, you know what, I want to work on other areas of my life, I will now go to uh, other experts or I will go and seek guidance for, for help and support. Now, all of these things, they all coincide and are very much like integrated with each other. And I know I have essentially pitched here the idea of, you know, going to a coach and a professional, but it certainly is, I think, the way forward really for any kind of coaching in the self-improvement world. But Ultimately, it has to be down to your decision and where you're at in your life. But ultimately, though, I would recommend try and do stuff on your own first. It's brilliant if you can rush to go to a coach, but if you can do stuff on your own first, at least give yourself that chance to see if you can overcome your obstacles that are holding you back in your life, then do it. 100% do it. But when you then come to that realization or so much time has gone by that you know what, things should be better for you or that you do deserve better, then by all means do go to a coach or a professional. So 
I will kind of wrap it up there. Um, I am as well a life coach and an IEMT practitioner, which stands for Integral Eye Movement Therapy, which essentially um, kind of breaks that connection or detaches that connection of negative emotions and uh, I was going to say experiences, but essentially negative emotions from memories. So I would love it if you would check out my website. If you click in the description box below, you'll see a web link there, which will take you to a very specific page on my website where I kind of discuss how integral eye movement therapy in my coaching can hopefully help you to work through your traumas your negative experiences and your emotions and hopefully get you the results that you want in life. So if let's say, you know, you want to meet uh, the woman of your dreams and you're just scared to put yourself out there, then allow me to help you to remove those negative memories that are holding you back from doing so or if you've got these limiting beliefs about yourself where you don't believe that you're good enough, where maybe you feel unlovable or unwanted, uh, then allow me the opportunity to help you to remove or reduce those negative thoughts and uh, make you more confident and be the person who you know you should be as well. So I really do hope that you found this video uh, interesting and helpful. Um, do again, please like the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, where I will certainly be, be, I will certainly be releasing so much more content that I genuinely believe is going to help you with your dating life, with your confidence, and certainly to help you to break up from anxiety. So uh, with all that said, thank you for watching the video. Leave any more questions that you've got in the comments below and I look forward to reading them.